Alpha Matriculation High Secondary School welcomes you all 12th standard students for this online economic class. Let us now go to lesson number 10. Environmental Economics Yes, what is environmental economics? It is an area of economics that studies the financial impact of environmental policies. Environmental economists perform studies to determine the theoretical or empirical effects of environmental policies on the economy. What is the meaning of empirical? Based on experience. Sir Edmund Hillary gave a definition for environmental economics. Let us see. Environmental problems are really social problems. They begin with the people as the cause and end with people as victims. What is the meaning of victim? Victim means a person who is hurt or injured by somebody. Yes, he tries to say that the people are the cause and the people are the effect for this environmental problems. Let us see the learning objectives of this lesson. First, to understand the link between economy and environment. Second, to describe the various types of environmental pollution and their effects and third to understand the importance of sustainable development so in this lesson we will be learning about the linkage between economy and environment and the various types of pollutions their effects causes and their remedial measures and also about the importance of sustainable development what the meaning of sustainable development sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. We will be learning about this sustainable development in detail in the oncoming chapters. Introduction It is a study of interaction between human economic activity and the natural environment second it is a subset of economics that is it is a part of economics that is concerned with or deals with the efficient allocation of environmental resources third the main objective of environmental economics is to identify various tools or policy and allocate the natural resource and makes the market to move towards it. Yes, meaning of environment. Let us see what is environment. The term environment has been derived from a French word environia meaning to surround. Environment means all the conditions, circumstance and influences surrounding and affecting the development of an organism. It also means that the complex of that is the combination of physical, chemical and biotic factors that act upon an organism or we can also tell that it is an ecological community ultimately finally determine its form and survival. What is ecology? It is a branch of biology dealing with the relationship of organisms with their environment and with each other. What is environmental economics? Environmental economics is an area of economics or a part of economics that studies the financial impact of environmental issues and its various policies. 
second environmental economics involves both theoretical and empirical studies of the economic effects of either national or local environmental policies around the world ecosystem what is ecosystem listen an ecosystem includes all living things you know all, what are the living things plants animals and other microorganisms in a given area interacting with each other and also with their non living environments that is weather earth sun soil climate atmosphere ecosystems are the foundations of the biosphere and they determine the health of the entire earth system what is biosphere yes it is a part of the earth and its atmosphere capable of supporting life see the picture they have given the ecosystem of you that is your ecosystem it includes leisure what's the meaning of leisure free mobility value spaces wellness resources growth maker community yes we are living along with this linkage between economy and environment human life is interconnected with various living and non living things human life also depend on many aspects like social political ethical and philosophical what is ethical morality what is philosophical it is a study of ideas and beliefs about the meaning of life next the life of human being is shaped by his living environment that is how he is moving along with the environment we can very clearly understand the relationship between the economy and the environment by a model given by allen nees and r v ayers the model is nothing but material balance model explanation of this material balance model listen students the law of conservation of matter and energy emphasize that in any production system what goes in must come out that is for each and every input there will be an output this is known as the material balance approach or material balance principle the material flow diagram implies that mass inputs must equal mass output for every process all resources taken from the environment will become unwanted waste and pollutants in short we can tell that all materials and energy drawn from environment which is used for production and consumption activities are once again returned back to the environment as waste look at the graph given students it shows the interdependence of economics and the environment how economics and environment are interrelated to one another see the graph size of gdp is given on x axis and environmental quality is being measured on the y axis both this environmental quality and size of gdp are interrelated to each other that is based on the environmental quality of each and every country the size of the gdp of that particular country varies see the abatement cost given by the side what do you mean by abatement cost it is a cost borne by firms that is by industries to remove negative by products created during the production i hope you know what do you mean by the by products let us see the flow diagram for metal balance approach see the raw materials are being supplied for production and the producers are producing the goods and those goods are being consumed by the consumers 
from the production side during the time of production there will be some waste will be coming out in the form of solid liquid and gaseous form that wastes are mentioned as residuals or p okay so from the side of consumers after consuming or after using it they will be throwing out some waste that waste will be considered as a rc for example if you take a toothpaste after fully utilizing or taking of the toothpaste you will be throwing it out that is called as a consumer waste rc see in the picture they are given discharge rdp discharge rdc there are some waste in the production side which cannot be reused again by the producers and consumers that is called as a discharge rdp and discharge rdc those waste thrown out from the consumer side and from the producer side once again will be recycled and will be changed as a raw material and once again used for the production that is mentioned as see r cycled rrp and r cycle rrc see the equation form of material balance model see the equation given m is equal to g minus rc minus rp plus rrp plus rrc is equal to rdp plus rdc where m is material and energy inflow g is goods rc is consumption residual rp is production residual rrp is recycles from production rrc is recycles from consumption rdp is final residual discharge from production and rdc is final residual discharge from consumption look at the diagram the material balance model the linkage between the economy and environment see the first column the environment is supplying the raw material r and these raw materials are sent to the production center and it is producing final goods along with some waste that they have given the form of equation r is equal to f plus w1 r is nothing but raw material f is final product and w1 is waste from the production sector from the production sector the same product is again going to the household sector see the formula given f is equal to w2 w2 is nothing but the waste from the household sector see the last the triangle column r is equal to w1 plus w2 that is input is equal to output the waste from the production sector and the waste from the household sector are once again recycled as raw material and it goes to the first column the environmental column again the production process starts and it continues going to the household sector yes see the explanation say environment is a supplier of all forms of resource we all know that there are two types of resources renewable and non renewable what is renewable resource what is non renewable resource the resources which can be obtained again are called as a renewable resource and those which cannot be obtained again and again are called as a non renewable resource so this environment is a supplier of both the resource renewable as well as non renewable and next household and firms are connected to environment and they are interconnected to that is household as well as the industries which are producing goods are both connected to the environment and this in turn connected to each other third household and firms depend on nature for resources let it be household or let it be industries both depends upon the environment or nature for their resources next both household 
and firm send out residuals that is the waste of consumption and production to nature again nature has the power to assimilate all forms of waste assimilate meaning includes taken all forms of waste but this power is conditional the earth has reached the saturation point and it is unable to clean up several forms of waste what is saturation point it is a stage at which no more of something can be accepted that is there is a level for everything if you go beyond the limit it cannot be absorbed remember the earth can also non cooperate if it reaches its saturation point environmental goods do you know what are environmental goods listen there are some goods which do not come to the market at all those goods are called as a environmental goods what are they clear air clean water landscape green transport infrastructure that is it includes footpath cycle ways green ways public parks urban parks rivers mountains forests and beaches are all called as a environmental goods what is it green way yes it is a corridor of land or a piece of land that is reserved for recreational use or environmental preservation so all these will come under the environmental goods next environmental quality what is environmental quality it is a set of properties and characteristics of the environment either generalized or local as they impinge on human beings and other organisms what is the meaning of impinge bad effect next environmental quality has been continuously declining nowadays due to capitalistic mode of functioning that is the capitalist in order to get more profit they are continuously depleting the resources environment is a pure public good yes it is a public good belongs to the people that can be consumed simultaneously by everyone everyone can consume this environment public good and from which no one can be excluded all the human beings in the world are consuming this environment public good pure public good pose a free rider problem because of this free rider problem all the resources are being depleted is what is this free rider problem it is a type of market failure which occurs when those who benefit from resources public goods or services do not pay for them example fresh air light house street lighting etc this is called as a free rider problem and last the contribution of the nature to gdp listen the contribution of nature to gdp as well as depletion of natural resources these both are not accounted in the calculation of the national income enumeration these two what are the those two the contribution of nature to gdp as well as the depletion of natural resources these do not contribute to the estimation of national income let us go to the next topic externalities externalities refer to external effects or spillover effects resulting from the act of production or consumption on the third parties it arises due to interdependence between economic units yes listen what do you mean by this externality in economics externality is the 
cost or benefit that affects a third party who did not choose to incur that cost or benefit they have given one more new word spillover effects what is it spillover effects it refers to the impact that seemingly unrelated events in one nation can have on the economies of other nation definition of externality the cost or benefit imposed by the consumption and production activities of the individuals on the rest of the society not directly involved in these activity and towards which no payment is made the externalities are of two types benefit externalities are called positive externalities and adverse ones are called negative externalities is there are two types of externalities one is beneficial another one is adverse beneficial externalities are also called positive externalities and adverse ones are also called negative externalities can you give some example for this positive and negative externalities yes for positive externalities we can say see if you are educated you can educate others since you are educated many people are will be benefited because of you this is the positive externality see the example for negative externality air pollution from motor vehicle is a best example for negative externality i hope now you have understood the concept of externality let us see how this externalities and the environment are related in environmental economics one of the most important market failure is caused by negative externalities which is arising from production and consumption of goods and services externalities are third party effects arising from production and consumption of goods and services here the third party refers to the we people externalities occur outside of the market that is they affect people not directly involved in the production and consumption of a goods or services classification of externalities so we have this externalities both in the consumption and in production in consumption you have two types positive externality and negative externality so they have given the example for positive externality private security and public safety example for negative externalities are loud speaker and noise pollution see the production side here too you have the two types positive and negative example for positive is bee hives pollination yes it is the best example and from the negative side factory emission let us see the four classification of externalities positive consumption externality negative consumption externality positive production externality negative production externality see the first positive consumption externality listen when some resident or any one of the people or any one family hire a private security for their own locality the other residents of that area will also be benefited from that security without bearing any cost this is called as a positive consumption externality and next negative consumption externality if a person smoking cigarette get satisfaction for himself but at the same time he is causing hardship to the other non smokers this is the negative consumption externality see the next one positive production externality 
beehive pollination is the best example for this positive production externality while bees make honey they also help in the pollination of apple to blossom so the benefits now go to both the producers that is the honey as well as apple we can see one more example suppose if you are training a person who is working in a company and if that person leaves a company and go and join in some other company the later company gets the benefit of a skilled worker without they incurring any cost for the particular person for training next one negative production externality negative production externality includes pollution caused by a factory that imposes cost on others look at the picture these are some of the examples of negative production externalities air pollution from factories noise pollution collapsing fish stock pollution from fertilizers industrial waste methane emissions